YouTubers and Facebookers and whatever how you got here watching this video, Googlers. <laughs> Uh, today I'm going to do a little rant video. I know there's a lot of rant videos on YouTube, but uh, I just got back from Starbucks. Instead of getting coffee there, because I will get later in the video why, went to the gas station and got me a fucking monster ins instead. As you may know, you, you will see Starbucks wherever you fucking go, wherever you go. I remember in Beaumont, there was one in fucking Kroger's. There was one by the, the gas station in front of Kroger's, and there's one across the street. So you can do a three fucking sixty and see three fucking Starbucks in a block. Yeah, people need their coffee throughout the day, and they need their energy, but I don't recommend going to Starbucks. <laughs> I rarely go, and if I go, I'm getting a frat pay, or I'm going with a friend, just chilling there. As you know, uh, as soon as you get into the parking lot... It's like a different fucking world there. They will run your fucking ass over for a fucking parking spot. There is never enough parking spots. They always put it in secluded areas where there's not enough Starbucks. And they will run you over and fucking let you know that you took their spot or they wanted that spot. The drive throughs are always fucking extra long. Yeah, it's convenient to get coffee through a drive through I've done it a few times when you're in a rush, you don't feel like going in, but it it seems like it's forever. I know they're making coffee to order, but fucking waiting in line for 15 minutes for a coffee. Go to the store, get a five-hour energy drink, get a fucking monster. It does the same. You save money, and the environment inside of a Starbucks, yeah, they, they have like the hipster posters, hipster music going. People just go there just so they can be seen at Starbucks. It's like a... The local hotspot for like uh, mid times midtown celebrities that you not know about unless you go to Starbucks. Every time I go to Starbucks, there's just that one group of people they have computers and they sit there so people can see them writing a story or doing something. Uh, you're gonna have those rich people that they will fucking rip the fucking cashier a new asshole for not making their coffee right. I need a triple latte with fucking triple espresso, half lot, soy milk, blah, blah, blah. They know what they want. <laughs> Which isn't a bad thing, but fucking don't yell at someone making $7 to make your fucking coffee. Uh, the employees there are always fucking uh, hyped up on fucking caffeine. Because uh, I was going to apply there when I was 18 to leave Whataburger. And they wanted me to be assistant manager. And they wanted to pay me eight forty to be an assistant manager doing all that bullshit work. Y'all making millions, billion, I would say a close to a billion dollars a year industry off fucking coffees. Coffee beans, water, and sugar, and milk. <laughs> Play, pay your employees more. Uh, sometimes uh, they have a good uh, crew there, good uh, a lot of good employees. There's a few times where I went into drive through of the Starbucks and they were fucking with me doing a retarded voice and I always fuck back with them. I don't take it too serious, but like I got some free coffee before, <laughs> just fucking with the employees on the fucking drive through. Uh, if they're busy, they won't they won't do that. But if they're slow and fucking all hyped up, they will fuck with you. <laughs> uh, the bathrooms are fucking always the same. It's like they have those little brick tiles everywhere and fucking a, like a motivation poster somewhere up there, and they never have fucking like paper towels. It's always the fucking heater that you have to use in Starbucks. I hate that shit. It never gets it dry. Yeah, I can see you trying to save trees, but you go to other countries, exploit them for their fucking coffee beans so you can come back to America and give it to a fucking ridiculous amount of price. And uh, their items that they sell at Starbucks is fucking ridiculous. Like, if you want a fucking coffee mug, say in Starbucks, nineteen ninety nine. If you want a like, half a pound of fucking, like, Colombian roast, fucking twenty nine ninety nine. I don't mind instant coffee. I really don't. I can get a whole fucking tub for four fifty, whatever, five bucks at most of Folgers, and I get hundreds of cups from it. And it's just water, fucking heated up, fucking add the coffee, sugar, and whatever, how you want it. Yeah, it's not as good tasting, but you know what? I'd rather have that than fucking spend five bucks on one cup of coffee. And I get the fucking prices, not really, but why are you charging fucking four to five bucks for a cup of coffee? It's not worth it. Yeah, it's not a lot of money, but for a fucking one cup of coffee. I want to translate that to the price to a gallon of gas, a gallon of milk. How, how much coffee it would take. If there's 64 ounces in a fucking gallon. There's 20, ounce, uh, 20 ounces in a fucking um, venti. 20, Italian for 20. So it's like 15, almost like 14, 15 bucks for a gallon of coffee. It's watering. It's 
it's ridiculous. Sorry for those fucking math problems, but uh, what else do I add? I would see people outside sitting fucking in the rain at Starbucks. You you will always see it. Like you see the umbrellas are down, but they're still outside. They wanted to be seen at Starbucks. Like like I said earlier, they want to be the like fucking local celebrity up there, that, so people know they're at Starbucks. It's funner. Like I've gone by myself before, just to fucking get the morning started. I have nothing else to do. I have extra money in my pocket. I would go to Starbucks, get my smoke, and just read. Uh, I'm I don't only time I really stay up there. And chill at Starbucks is when I have a group of friends. And back in the day, we used to bring our guitar up there, and so can, it was like a coffee house set. And <laughs> some ad, the thing that they need to add, they need to add like acoustic shows up there, because if you know uh, the local scene for music, uh, they need we, we need more of those. So if, I know Starbucks won't do it, but like other coffee houses needs to do it. Uh, compared a coffee compared to other stores. Like, really, the, basically, the only thing I really get up there is fucking frappes. I know it's stupid. It can be 40 degrees in the winter in Texas. I will go get a frappe, a fucking iced fucking smoothie coffee. Uh, compared to, like, Burger King or Walmart, or not, not Walmart, but McDonald's, I like fucking Burger King's frappes better. They're, like, a quarter of the price, and they're fucking, they're made with real ice cream, and they taste better, the better chocolate flavor. Uh, what else do they need to do about Starbucks? If you're gonna have a good Starbucks, fucking make it bigger. I like the parking that's always secluded. It's never fucking empty. It's hard to find a parking spot, which is fucking stupid. Uh, and stop making so many of them. Like, you don't need fucking 16 fucking Starbucks in a fucking mile radius. If you go to, like, Yelp or any, like, searching for a local Starbucks, you're gonna find, like, six or seven of them. <laughs> and it's always the same people that work up there. It always seems like they have the same... Uh, fucking boring mannerism sometimes and just fucking talking to you. Uh, I guess that's really my rant about Starbucks. I'm not a fan. I do go. I'm not going to lie. I could be a hypocrite if you want to call it that. But overpriced, rude customers, crazy staff, and overpriced items. That's about it for today. Starbucks, you can go to hell. One last thing. I, I don't, don't know if this is true. At Starbucks, there was a group of soldiers over in Iraq or Afghanistan, they wanted the coffee from Starbucks because they missed that. They're getting like shit ass coffee, and they wrote to Starbucks, and Starbucks wrote back, and they what they replied to the soldiers: "Thank you for writing to us, but we do not support the war or anyone active in the war, and so we would not be sending you coffee. And this is our opinion about it. And blah 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 blah." Like, if a soldier wants some fucking Starbucks coffee, fucking send them. You have billions of pounds of coffee every year. You can afford a couple thousand to the soldiers. You want them to be alert. You don't want them to be tired and fucking shit. You may not support the war, but support the fucking soldiers in the fucking war. They're not, they're a fucking across the world fighting a fucking battle. They probably don't agree with like you do. Don't fucking down talk them and fucking make them feel like shit all because they want coffee. They don't go into your fucking, like, life and fucking fuck, tell you, like, hey, I'm fighting this war for you, but I don't fight with Starbucks. They're gonna fight for you anyway, so fuck off, Starbucks. <laughs> Anywho, anyway, this is D-Tranthems, a rant about Starbucks. I'm bored. I'm hyped up a monster instead of getting a fucking Starbucks. Fuck Starbucks. Good frappes, but everything else you can fuck off. <laughs> uh, D-Tranthems, subscribe, please. I, I got a few the past couple of days. My channel views are getting, uh, going up and up. I think I started with, like, 100... 200 like in the past month and I'm up to like over a thousand which to some channels it's nothing I've seen some channels with millions like comment please say something getting aboard y'all have a good day